everyone. Welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada chat. Oh my god, it's episode 19. Can you believe it? I, I feel so lost. The stuff that we were seeing tonight was from a week ago. A week ago. A week ago. It's wild. All right, well, last time they left us on a cliffhanger, we were hanging, hanging yes. on the cliff. My fingers were slipping one by one. <laughs> Just my pinky left hanging on that cliff. Movie Night Massacre has now turned into Movie Week Massacre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they even said it in scary, the thing. Scary, man. I mean, again, set design, amazing. They yeah. did their jobs. Yeah, but that one day lasted a whole week. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe editing department could have, like, tightened things up. I don't know. Well, you know what? They changed the intro to the scary theme, which was a lot that of fun. That was fun. I like that. That reminds me of, of like, fun. Community when they would change it for, like, the special right. episodes. Mm -hmm. Love that. I, ha I do have to say, though, that BB Can blew it today. Oh, my God. Okay, if you do not pay attention to spoilers online, oh, you are missing out because... We ate. No crumbs. After days of not putting up digital dailies to avoid spoiling who was evicted in this movie night massacre... Just hours before the episode. A mere three hours before the episode. I don't remember how many hours. It was, but maybe it was four. I don't know. The show put out an article spoiling who was evicted. <laughs> and then they deleted it after they realized. But like, yeah. what? So what? Oh my god, I cannot believe that that happened. But I also can, kind of. Yeah. So yeah, um, we knew going into this who was going to be evicted. Yeah. Alright, so let's recap. Kayla and Avery were nominated. Okay. Kayla won the veto. She did. She pulled off that puzzle. Now Spicy has to, Spicy as the HOH, even though she didn't do a damn thing yet. She was cast by Bailey. She has to decide who the replacement's going to be. All right. Uh, Todd and Tola know they're in hot water right now. Because well, it's Spicy pretty, knows that they did wrong. It's pretty you easy to wrong. figure out who did what. Right. In the whole casting situation. So Todd right. and Tola are like, what are we going to say? Like, they're going to figure it out. So Tola's like, we'll just tell them, like, yes, we did put you up, but it was because we knew you were good at puzzles, and we didn't want to give Elijah the chance to win the veto. He's the, He was the target the whole time. I thought it was because Elijah was good at puzzles. Well, yeah, and he was trying to say that Elijah was their yeah. target, and this was some sort of backdoor attempt, which is an insane lie. <laughs> they kind of almost believed it, though. Uh, yeah, but, but also, like, come on. You really think you're going to try to pull off some backdoor move with, like, multiple people involved in this kind of situation? Well, you know who's not going to pick Tola as a replacement? Spicy. Oh, my she doesn't God. want to get Anthony angry. This should be the largest of red flags for the rest of Spicy's allies because it is Anthony's very clear. Anthony's going to be pissed. I can't do it. It's very clear that she's putting Anthony above anybody else. She cares so much about his strategy and what he wants that she won't put up Tola, who is very clearly going after Forget about her chocolate. allies. Yeah. We got cold diarrhea chocolate going <laughs> it's, on here. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad at this point. All right. So the hot shocks. Uh, no, sorry. New info. Do, 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 do. Tola admits straight up, yes, I did put Kayla up on the block. And he tries to sell it like, oh, we we're going to back to her. Uh, Elijah, right. like, you weren't my target, dude, come on. And Avery was like, I, I don't think that could be true, because, like, how would you even know that the POV was going to be a puzzle? Yes, thank you. Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's just part of the evidence against these claims. So then the hot chocolates, this was basically like a house meeting. Yeah. They have Todd and Tola, they trot them in, bring them in, put them on trial. Mm -hmm. And basically, everybody knows what what went on. Elijah was also trying to push to Spicy, like, hey, maybe you should put Tola up on the block. And Spicy was basically, like, laughing in his face, which was that really was annoying. not cool. I didn't like that. Yeah. Because she was like, oh, you might be going up again. He's like, again? Like, I'm going to go home, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, <laughs> no, you won't. Um, I promise if it's she a tie, it just a pawn. I'll break the tie in your favor. I promise. Oh, yeah. So then they had the POV ceremony. Kayla, of course, uses the POV on herself. Of course, you have to. And Spicy puts up Goose. I think this was what so... What a great move. This was so... <laughs> Lame? Weak. <laughs> yeah, like Weak you sauce. have this opportunity, and you're just going to get rid of Elijah? 
<sighs> this was really lame. But, yeah, that's what she did. And, again, she's promising that she's going to keep Elijah if it's a tie. It's not going to be a tie. All right, so Elijah starts campaigning. His campaigning was a lot better than in the past. In the past, yeah. But it still didn't make a difference because nobody wanted to keep him. I mean, it's his, like, fourth time up on the block, so I guess he's learning. Yeah, <laughs> he's I guess so. He's the campaign. But, yeah, there's <laughs> just no way he's making it out this time. Well, Arissa, in her sexy purple dress, lets us know <laughs> that the first evictee is, well, the evictee tonight is the first member of the jury. Oh, so everybody was happy Hello. to hear that, especially Elijah yeah. and Avery, because it's going to be one jury. of them. I yeah. Yeah. So, it's time for speeches. Avery goes first, vote with your head, not your heart, or your heart, not your head, who knows? Because she knows, like, if people were making the better move, she'd be the one going. Of course. <laughs> I mean, she's a much bigger threat than Elijah. And then Elijah says something about a dirty movie theater and <laughs> do what's best for your game. Okay. Which is to get rid of him. <laughs> well, they do the vote, and it's unanimous, of course, so Elijah is evicted. Do you think this was a mistake? A mistake on the house's part? Yeah. Well, yeah, if they don't want <laughs> Anthony and Spicy to win. Yeah, I think it was a big mistake to take out Avery. I also feel like Todd and Elijah. Tola... Yeah, that's what I meant, sorry. <laughs> to not take out Avery. Right. I feel like Todd and Tola gave up so quickly on their move the second they got called out on it. Like, they didn't even, it seems like, try to get the votes to take out right. Avery. Right. So, yeah. All right. So, Goose hugs Kayla, and Kayla sa and he says to Kayla, Spicy wins against everyone. Ah! I like this energy, but why not add Anthony to that as well? Because, exactly. Like, why are we protecting him? It's both of them. Both all stars need to go if anyone else wants a chance of winning this game. All right. So after they slept it off, everyone and cleaned we all didn't the get blood a, off. A, an eviction interview for Elijah. No. Well, that's, that's why bummer. they put the picture up. I guess. <laughs> hey, look at this picture of Elijah <laughs> getting evicted. I'm sure his interview's online somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. So. Everyone's eating the next day. Like, what the hell just happened? Everyone's <laughs> thankful they survived the crash. Yeah. And Todd and Tola know that they are in trouble. I mean, they put some very large targets on their backs by putting Kayla and, and Avery on and the block. And saying that they did it. <laughs> yeah. I just threw up in my mouth so hard. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> are you okay? I have acid reflux. <laughs> All right. Uh... Kayla feels betrayed. Why? She says, why the hell didn't Spicy V put up, like, either Todd or Tola? Because they put up the hot chocolates. Kayla, you're not wrong. This should be, again, a humongous red flag. Spicy is prioritizing Anthony over you. Yeah. And That's Anthony, a problem. Anthony's talking to himself in the <clears throat> diary room, big up in himself, saying, I don't even have to do a damn thing. I'm I don't have to them. go for this HOH because it doesn't matter. I'm safe. And he's right. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, he is. He is playing these people like fiddles. But, like, these people are dumb. Yeah. This is like the... I think it's half and half. I mean, he is, honestly, of course, very talented at this game. This is like the Cody Derrick season. Yeah, it does kind of They got a bunch that. of empty heads in there for them, to, little robots for them to control. I also get a lot of season 19 vibes, but, like, less yeah. bullying. Way less right. bullying. All right, so... HOH comp time. It's called Back to the Drawing Board. Okay. This is a head-to-head -head puzzle competition. You're up there on your little board, and this honestly is a preschool puzzle that they <coughs> gave to my son when oh. he had OT. They will like match the uh, image with, with the, blocks. the blocks that we give you. Yeah, I like this competition though. This is I like think this is a good four one. years old. He was doing this. I like that we're getting more mental comps that like anybody can win. It's not just all physical based. Well, you know who wasn't very good at the mental comps. Todd and Tola. Oh, they were the first ones up, and I'm sure everyone was like, wow, that they were up against each other. But yeah, um, they were really struggling. 27 minutes. Oh my struggle. god. That's a long time. Remember when we used to ask Sean how to struggle go? Ugh. Yeah. That's what it was. So Todd ended up winning that round. 
It was awful. Man. Okay, so the, the next one. 20 seconds between Kayla and Avery. I and think Avery did it. They were done before Todd and Tola even sat back down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Avery smoked this 20 seconds. Wasn't she the one who was saying in her preseason interview that she really likes Rubik's Cubes? I think so. Yeah. I think so. There was more than one person. There were two people who said yeah. that. I think she was one of them. So she won that round. Kayla's out. And uh, Todd and Anthony are up against each yeah, other. Yeah, you choose who you want to go next. All right. So everyone knows how much Todd sucks at this. <laughs> So Anthony wants to throw it, but... He's also like, okay, it's going to look really bad if I don't beat Todd here. And I don't want to stand here for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> pretending not to know what I'm doing. Yeah. So he won it. Right. Todd is out. So now Avery versus Bailey. Bailey seems kind of pissed that Anthony picked her to go up against Avery after Avery proved that she's, like, really good at this. Right. So Avery beat Bailey, mm -hmm. and then Anthony went up against Lexus, and this time he threw it to her by he buzzed in, buzzing in the that wrong, it was wrong answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So then Lexus versus Avery in the final round, and Avery wins. I mean, after her first performance in this comp, like. It was looking like she was going to win. So that's huge yeah. because she was like just HOH. There was like a day where Spicy was HOH and now Avery is HOH again. Right. Wow. That's how it happens when you have a double. Yeah. A veritable double. Mm -hmm. Did everyone get to double? <coughs> All right. So Todd and Lexus, unlikely duo here, have a conversation. I think Todd is realizing he's on the outs here after what went down with the movie Night Massacre. And he can sense that Lexus is kind of... Also on the outs a bit. Disgruntled, right. perhaps, so, that her, the one that she lays with has been sent home. Yeah. So Todd was like, Kayla or Avery, um, one of them is going to win this whole thing. <gasps> I mean, what about Spicy and Anthony? Why is no one saying Spicy and Anthony? Isn't Lexus also like... Um, well, she was kind of like, yeah, I know. Like, she's pissed still about Matt leaving. This was not that long ago. Yeah. So he was also asking like, hey, if we could have like gotten the votes to vote Avery out, would you have done it? And she was like, well, Elijah was making a lot of really good points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> right. he was kind of like, oh, snap. Was I potentially able to do this and I blew it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that he would have gotten Anthony, though. I don't think it would have No, been I don't think thing. so. But in his mind, he doesn't know about hot chocolate, so he's like, oh, man, I probably could have done it. Yeah, so it's time for Avery's HOH room. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, we have so much other stuff to get through. Let's uh, talk about Bailey for when, when I was going to say Wednesdays. It's Wendy's. Right. So, <coughs> oh, Bubby. <laughs> Avery, Bailey, and Spicy are supposed to have, like, a final three deal. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Avery just wanted, like, that one-on-one -on -one time with Bailey. Check in, make sure they're good. She hasn't had Wendy's she really yet. She likes the breakfast sandwich. Yeah. Uh, the most shocking thing during this Wendy's segment was finding out that Avery has a twin sister. What? what? The hell? <laughs> How was this not brought up before? I don't know. I guess that's what ha what happens when we don't have live feeds. We don't know things like this. But they didn't look like identical twins. No, then. I think they were fraternal. Yeah. But very cool. Had no idea. Yeah. Womb mates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Avery wants to put up Todd and Tola. I mean, it's that's no obvious. We knew she was gonna do that. And Bailey's like, yeah, for sure, let's do it. But she said, I would prefer for Tola to go over oh, Todd. Oh, me too. <laughs> Says Avery. Yeah. I feel like that's not a surprise because I think Todd, uh, the girls see him as much more like workable mm -hmm. than Tola. Tola is just like a he man woman hater. <laughs> yeah, I kind of get that vibe. Ooh. All right. Well, I know. <laughs> so Avery is like, okay, yes, we can get Rotola, sure. We're not effing around here. It's time for noms. Yeah, I mean, I guess keep this moving. there's going to be another eviction tomorrow, so yeah. that's at least exciting, right, getting this moving? I hope they don't blow it this time. Be like, <laughs> oh, the next eviction's going to be next week. <laughs> so the noms are Todd because of the movie Night Massacre. He showed his ass. Tola, we can't trust you. He showed his ass. <laughs> Both are targets. Yikes. Yeah. Both are targets. Did she say that? Yes, she did. Oh, wow. She really likes to lay it all out there in her I speeches. Know. So Kayla 
and Lexus are having a chat. Now, I did not expect this because I felt like these two were not in sync anymore. I didn't think that they were going to be having like a game chat like this. Mm -hmm. But they were talking about how they want Bailey to go. Because Kayla is super paranoid that Bailey knows about the Hot Chocolate Alliance. Now, Bailey has walked in on multiple yeah. hot chocolate meetings. I don't think she has any idea that's that sad. that's a thing. <laughs> that is so sad. Yeah, but Kayla is really paranoid about it. She's like, Bailey's going to have to go because we can't have anyone figuring this out. And Lexus says, "Yeah, she's not good for my <laughs> game either. <laughs> I think they're also uh, paranoid because... Bailey has been getting closer to Anthony, mm -hmm. and I think that they're worried that she is pulling him away from them, mm -hmm. so there's that element as well. Yeah. <gasps> well, unbeknownst to us, uh, they pick players for the veto during the commercial. Oh, okay. I'm sure it wasn't during the commercial, but... <laughs> this is not live. Uh, we have Bailey, Lexus, and Kayla, along with Todd and Tola. Mm-hmm. So, uh, somebody's gonna have to win, Bailey. <laughs> I know. Okay, the target switched so many times during the second half of the episode. Yeah. So, Bailey is talking to Todd, and Todd's like, boy, do I have some info for you. He's like, I think uh, you should know this. Lexis was telling me she would have been willing to vote out Avery if she knew that the votes were there. And Bailey's Yikes. like, Bleh! <laughs> Yeah. Bailey runs this info to, to Spicy, and Spicy's like, oh my god, Lexis has to go. She needs to be the backdoor target this week. So Spicy runs this uh, to Avery. Of course, Spicy's all like, I knew Lexis wasn't with the girls. I knew it. Meanwhile, uh... Spicy, is she ever actually She's with the not girls? with the girls. <laughs> so then Spicy has to talk to Anthony. Because well, she tells Avery, too, like you mentioned. And yeah. Avery's like, all right, well, I guess it's Lexus then. She's got to go. We right. can't trust her anymore. So then she talks to Anthony. Spicy talks to Anthony and says, we can't ride hot chocolate to the end. She's saying Lexus is going to have to go because she is not fully with us. And Anthony, Anthony said... No! Yeah, on the inside, he's like, no! Because he knows that Lexus is more loyal to him than to any right. of those other girls. Right. So... And he is the only penis among the vaginas. Correct. The so, vagina monologues in there. <laughs> so, he's Anthony... He's the first to go. Uh, he's very quick on his feet here. He's like, you know what? I got some info... In my pocket. ...that I've been sitting on. He has important intel here. He mm -hmm. knows what Goose said to Kayla... On his way out. Right. And he's like, all right, well, if you're going to try and take Lexus from me, then I'm going to drop this bomb about <laughs> Kayla. He really threw that grenade in there and then uh, just... Yeah. But also, like, how are you going to put so much weight on this information when it's something that Goose said to Kayla, not Kayla being like, you know what? That's very true. Like, I think this right. is... You know what I mean? Like... It's not her fault that he said that to her. And why is he telling uh, Spicy when Avery is the one who's going to be making Because he knows, you know, Avery's going to listen to Spicy. I mean, it makes sense. May not. She is. <laughs> um, but yeah, he tells Spicy, uh, Kayla was saying that no one is going to beat you in the end. That's what Elijah told her. Right. And Spicy's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> she's so easily swayed, it's ridiculous. Yeah, because now she's like, all right, Kayla's got to go. She's got to go next. And Anthony is literally laughing in her face in the room, just the like, room, I can't yeah. believe what I just did. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so Spicy wants Kayla out. Kayla wants Bailey out. Uh, some people want Lexus out. <laughs> like, is it's Tola all over the place. Himself out? Is Tola <laughs> even a target anymore? Probably not. So, who knows? Is Todd? I know. A lot is going to come down to what happens with this veto. We don't who know. Who do you want to see win the veto? Uh, Todd. Just yeah. to make sure he's safe. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see. I, it, a lot depends on who we wins the veto. We only have to wait till tomorrow. Maybe. No. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with the digital dailies. I still don't know if we're getting dailies tomorrow or if they're gonna make us just wait until after this eviction. That would be the best situation, I feel like. I mean, yeah, at this point, honestly, just wait until after the eviction. Just give us the newest stuff. Don't be dropping like a thousand hours of uh, feeds on us. I'm going to be real. If they do that, we can't watch all of it. So we're just going to yeah. watch like the last two or whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We just want to watch the stuff that's like still relevant. But Yeah. I don't want to watch stuff about last week uh, that 
isn't it isn't really yeah, relevant. We, we and if it is, time. they're gonna recover it on the show anyway. So like Yeah. Do you so, really need to know? We'll see what happens. If there's a digital daily, we will be talking about it here. In some quantity. Yeah. <laughs> there will be a live stream if there's a digital daily. Right. If not, we'll just be talking about the episode and that's what it is. So it is what it is. Thank you all so much for watching. Let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments. Who do you want to see go tomorrow? Who do you want to see go? I mean, I want to see Tola go. I would love to see Tola go, but I'd also be okay with Lexus going. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks everybody. And of course, that's also, I just want to put out there, I would love to see Anthony or Spicy go. Well, but of course, but that's not going <laughs> to happen. It's not happening. <laughs> um, but thank you all so much for watching. And until tomorrow, at some point, yeah. much love, y'all. Yeah.